Engineer 775 here. We're working on a, this is going to be another three part, four part, not exactly sure how many in a series. We're trying to come up with different ways to heat water in a home if the grid goes down. And we're wanting to do that with existing wood stoves. This stove is a Pacific Energy wood stove. And again, the, the EPA and all the regulations do not allow you to put a coil inside one of these wood stoves. So you can't order a stove with a coil unless it's a, a cook stove. But we're wanting to modify this stove. We're not going to go in the firebox. What we're going to do is we've got a coil, and this is from Hill Coil, and it's a double looping coil. And what we're going to do, I, I went with a double loop. There's single loop coils and double loops because we're not going to be in the firebox. We're going to be up against the firebox. I went with a double loop to get more surface area. So what we're going to do here, obviously this is going to fit inside this jacket. And I'm going to mount it this way. And the goal is, once this is mounted, I'm going to press it up against the firebox. Cold air is going to, cold water is going to come in the bottom tube and thermal siphon up and out up to a range boiler. A range boiler is just a fancy name for a storage tank like a water heater that we're going to thermal siphon up to. If the distance between the tank and the stove are relatively close, with less than 10 feet, and then its thermal siphoning is achievable. Um, this, where we're going in this home, it's going to be difficult to get that. I might have to put a circulating pump on. We'll do a 12 volt circulating pump if that's the case. So we've taken all the enamel uh, shields off of this stove, got it down to bare bones, having to cut a few welds, but it's all external things. And what we're going to do is um, put this coil in now and uh, see if we can get it nice and tight to the, the firebox and we'll let you know from there. Okay, we put the coil in and the cold water will come in this side, hot water out that, hopefully. I had to put some spacers in here to hold the coil tight against the firebox. And so, that's the next step. We're going to put the enamel covers on now. Okay, I've put the stove back together, prettied it up, put the enamel covers back on, and here are the coil sticking out. I know that can, seems like they're sticking out quite a ways, but there's a lot of clearance, and you need some clearance anyway, so even if I have to take 90 degrees and go up. But we're going to run copper from here up to the range boiler once I bring it to the site where we're going to install it. So that's it with the red enamel back on it. I'm just going to crate it back up because I need to deliver it this week and we'll see how it works.